Hi guys, Elise from Spiritual here. It has been a while to my YouTube family. Hello, anyone who finds this video. I'm Elise, I am an herbalist, I am a medicine woman, and I am here to share more about herbs. So let's get started with today's video. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about a fever reducing herb and an herb that is used to help support the management of migraines. Yes, I am talking about feverfew. I don't know how many of you have heard of this, but feverfew is an herb that is going to be in my herbal migraine relief um, tincture, and it's amazing. And like most of the products I make, I make them because I usually have a personal concern or a need, and in addition to people in my family, I know tons of people that really struggle with managing migraines and the symptoms that they cause, like uh, feeling like they're wincing, intense throbbing pain sharp pain people who have migraines so bad that they have to lay down and it really can impact your quality of life so i said we need a tincture for that so the book that i'm going to be reading from is called nutritional herbology i really love this book it's by mark peterson he's a naturopathic doctor and a research chemist and he specializes in the chemistry of herbal remedies and herbs specifically. So go get this book. I love it. This is not sponsored, but Feverfew. So one of the things I found interesting with Feverfew is that during the Middle Ages, it was actually used to minimize the results of a hangover. And if you've ever had a hangover from consuming too much alcohol, you know that it is usually um, one of the first symptoms is a really intense headache. It was also interesting that during that time, um, people who were in the country where fever few is grown, which is um, the United States and Europe, they started to notice that the insects would not land on the fever few. So what they did was they started to plant that around their gardens, fruits, vegetables, anything that they didn't want insects to go to, they would plant fever few, um, which is something that we can still do today. So if you are like me and you have a micro homestead, I have some chickens, I am definitely planting fever few around my coop and around my vegetable garden one of the things that it has most been noted for is reducing migraines reducing fevers and managing the pain that comes with arthritis and that doesn't surprise me because one of its properties is it died um what's it called Ugh. It um, dilates the blood vessels. So when we dilate the blood vessels, allowing for blood to flow easier, we reduce things like migraines, which is amazing. And it can also help with arthritis the same way. It is used to treat menstrual pain, asthma, inflammatory skin conditions, and arthritis. And I think with inflammatory skin conditions like psoriasis and eczema, you would probably infuse that in something you can put on topically, or you could just take a bath in those herbs. One of the things that I love about it is that this is also anti-inflammatory, which makes sense when you're talking about arthritis, because arthritis is an inflammation condition. It also helps with blood clots and it inhibits histamine responses, which is very useful for allergy season. Um, one of the things that I also find um, interesting specifically about feverfew, which you don't see in a lot of herbs, is not only does it help take away the pain from a migraine, but it can even be used to help in preventing the migraine. So before it even starts, taking something with feverfew in it um, could really make sure that you decrease the incidence of having it. So when I think of that, I think of like cluster migraines, especially for women who experience PMS. So if you know that every month, five days before you get your period, you start with these migraine headaches. You might want to start drinking, you know, a cup of fever few tea every day or taking a tincture and seeing if that helps so that it doesn't even occur as opposed to waiting for the migraine to come and then taking it. So this book says a typical dosage is a half a teaspoon. Um, An extract is basically um, one milliliter of it in water, which would be a half of a tincture uh, syringe. So... I will definitely be using Feverfew. There are so many places you can get herbs from. I got this from a private Etsy seller. Um, it's organic, it's cut 100%, it's dried, and it's amazing. And I can't wait to look at the results of it. But let me know if you have any questions about migraines or specifically Feverfew in the comments. And it was great coming back and talking to you guys. And I'll see you soon, bye.